Good morning from Austin. Today, we're taking a ride to our favorite place on earth, the hardware store. Ugh. Also, today we are going to patch some of those holes in uh, the floor, get it nice and uh, airtight and uh, waterproof, and then we are going to put a uh, layer of rust preventative paint on there because I've seen other people do it and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and we're going to put the reflective coating insulation. Oh yeah, we're gonna put a re uh, reflective insulation layer and I'm 50% sure of how this stuff works. By the way, I should mention, there's nothing in particular that I like about Home Depot. It just happens to be right across the street from where Chris lives. Chris, on the other hand, is a big fan of Home Depot. I am. Here's, here's the rule of thumb. First off, you get all your lumber from Lowe's and everything else from Home Depot. I personally like Lowe's better. It's, I don't know. I don't know why. I just do. I feel like I'm in an episode of Supermarket Sweep. We've decided to get Bondo to patch the holes where the uh, screws came out of. I've never done Bondo before, but I'm excited to learn. By the way, a lot of my reference uh, comes from uh, online and Instagram. Tiny Van Travels uses reflectable stuff like this that we're trying to find, so we're gonna try and look up quickly what she's using. So with a little research, we're now getting a piece of wood, because why? So we're gonna create furring strips. Air is the best insulator. So what we're gonna do is just create little bitty furring strips, glue it to the frame, and then we're gonna staple the to it. Chris keeps busting my balls because every time somebody asks me what, what we're buying all this stuff for, I mention no, no, it's a school bus. Take, take a left, take a left. Let me see how this happens. This way, where are you going? See, he's so discombobulated, he's in a hurry to go nowhere. No, I'm in a hurry to get stuff done. Uh, so, let's anyway, see what happens. We need rust remover, and he's like, okay, so I'm building a left, bus. Left. We are 10 rows over. He doesn't know where he's going. Alright, so continue the story. Rust oleum, left, hang a left. He doesn't like taking directions either. <laughs> it takes you. We need rust oleum. We need to know if it's rust preventative. And you're like, okay, so I'm building a school bus. <laughs> Here's what we got. So this guy did this. This guy did this. And you're like, just I need rust preventative. Yeah. It so, take forever. So basically, I don't know anything about this, and so I just show people pictures of stuff, and I try and like copy people, essentially. <laughs> and even though it's right in front of our face, it just takes forever. <laughs> just say I need rust preventative paint, and then that's it. But you have to go through pictures. So I'm doing a school bus, and it just takes forever. All right, and I'm on a time crunch, so. Really, he's in a time crunch and he's in a rush. Look at him, th how he tosses that stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm busting his balls. That was good, dude. Yeah. Drag him up and cut him to length. And before that, I'm gonna get all the sa sawdust out of my eyes. Now that we're at the two by fours, we're putting caulking on the wood, and then we're putting it to the, how are we gonna mount it to that? You gotta have it at the, the top. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're, we're mounting it to the uh, bus to create a little air gap, and so that apparently helps with insulation the best is the air. Reflective stuff on there, and uh, now I'm gonna do the rest while he does something. Wait, can you do a slow mo? You got something for your van, but what else? What's that? That's my water heater. There you go. I have no idea. Probably another go with. Oh, this is your thermobot. Oh, nice. So tell him what this is. Um, this is something which I totally forgot. It is a extra preventative measure for leaks. Oh yeah, we're gonna use that on the solar panels on the roof where we drill into the to the roof. Mm -hmm. Chris is uh, instant gonna be ready by tonight. I hope so. 
Go book your uh, in -in, uh reservation soon. You can meet me if you do it in the month of July or August. And Chris, well, he's always here. But uh, hey, Chris, what link should I put? Airbnb? It's not up yet. I'll put the Airbnb up uh, when it's ready. You can link to Motel Camper. I still, I promised him I was gonna link to Motel Camper. I still haven't done it yet. You need to send me the link. I will do it. Deal. You want a sandwich? If you're making. All right. Sandwiches it is. In order to do good work, you have to have good fuel. Actually, screw the sandwich idea. We're gonna do hot dogs. Let's just take a little editing break, and uh, I saw on uh, Tsunami's Snapchat that she's out surfing right now, so I de decided to turn on the live stream and watch her surf. Right there on Surfline. Look at that wave coming in right there. Go Tsunami, go! All right, continuing on. I have this and whole side of the bus too. Measure twice, cut once. Well, I learned why that is super important today because I had to recut all these pieces of wood. It's now 7.30 p.m. I've put this tape here in between the bubbles and up top there on the sides and honestly I'm pretty wiped out so <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna finish this uh, today I didn't get started on the floors flying out tomorrow for an exciting thing and I will let you know tomorrow when I'm on my way to the airport what exactly this super amazing event is oh I said event hey. 